letters on the keyboard at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. The Asian small clawed otter is a tactile species. Their hands look like, like kind of like people hands. Every few weeks, keepers set up the keyboard just outside the otter enclosure to provide a little sound enrichment. So, of course, they got really excited. They get to manipulate some sort of object, and then, whoa, it makes a noise when I touch it. Or when the sloth bears blow on a harmonica. The bears love to suck up insects. So they suck and they blow a lot, so they use their mouth. Even blowing through a fire hose. <laughs> the otter's keyboard has to stay outside the enclosure so they don't rip it apart or sink it in their pool. The one that seems most musically inclined, is mm -hmm. he or she have a name? Uh, Rutabaga. With two hands. With two hands, yes. Yeah. Coincidentally, perhaps the most famous critter ever to play the keyboard has a new performance video out. Well, actually, it's the reincarnation of Keyboard Cat, now performing 96 Tears. Two minute teardrops. The original Keyboard Cat, named Fatso, is long dead. An artist named Charlie Schmidt dressed Fatso up in an infant t-shirt and manipulated her paws. Keyboard cat spawned keyboard dog. But at least Lila both plays and accompanies herself. And Choco the pug plays on command. <laughs>